hungry. I know, I know. Ridiculous. Thanks, George. Kate, how are you? Wondering about you? How are things, Susie? Things, Kate, are in a shambles. It's finished. Kaput. Oh? When did you decide that? Last night. Oh, Katie, you know how hard I've tried? How much I wanted to make it work. But there's nothing left. Nothing. And Ben agrees? No. But when something's dead, the only decent thing to do is bury it. I uh, called my attorney earlier today and made an appointment for tomorrow. I'm going to start proceedings immediately. My, you are in a rush. Why wait? Well, yeah, I suppose. If you're that sure. I am. I was uh, half expecting a call from you. Big sister's intuition. Well, I hardly needed a crystal ball, did I? Hey, look, Susie, why don't you come up here? We can talk or not, whatever you want. Oh, Katie, I'd love to, but it's too complicated. <laughs> There's the cat, the dog, the bird, a million things. Can't Ben take care of the animals for a few days? Ben's gone. He left this morning for L.A. on business. And I want to be out when he gets back. What about the house? It's his. And he can have everything in it. I want nothing from him. You'll get no more from me. Clean, finished, as if there never was a marriage. That's what I'm going to tell the lawyer. Hey, look, Susie, why don't I drive down there and keep you company? No, I'm all right, really. It's been raining here, and they're predicting a big storm. I don't want you driving down in that. When did the little weather ever stop me? Look, it's not even 3 o'clock, and it's lonely around here with Philip away. I can be down there in plenty of time for us to have a drink and a nice, cozy dinner together. No, I don't think so. I'll probably have myself a good cry tonight. No, 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 I'll be fine in the morning. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Uh, okay, love. You, you will call if you change your mind. Yes, I will. And Katie, thanks for being there. Bye-bye. Have you finished it? What are you doing here?
Hello, uh, operator. I've been trying to reach area code 408, 555-4208, and I keep getting a busy signal. Has there been any trouble with the telephone lines down there because of the storm? We haven't been notified of any. Oh, well, fine, then. Could you check the line for conversation, please? Is this an emergency call? Uh, yes, this is an emergency. I'll have it checked for you. I'm sorry, the phone's off the hook. Off the hook? There's no conversation on the line. Oh, oh yes, well, thank you, operator. George, I've decided to drive down and spend the night with Susan. Could you get the car out for me? Yes, ma'am, right away. Thanks. I'll just throw some things in the suitcase. Oh, you have to throw those in the front seat. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Have a nice trip, Mrs. Wainwright. <laughs> Hold down the fort, George. I'll do my best. South, miss? Uh, yes. How far? About 25 miles. The road's closed beyond Wilton Corners. We've had some rock slides. Oh, well, I wasn't going quite that far. Just the same, miss. We're recommending the folks stay off Route 1, unless it's urgent. you are going to have to close down all of it as soon as it's dark. Well, uh, I'll make a phone call. Maybe I'll stay at the lodge for the night. That'd be best. Thank you. Come again, miss.
Wainwright residence. Oh, hi, George. It's me. Has Susan called? No, ma'am. Is there something wrong? Well, uh, I'm at Highland Point. I called her again, but there was no answer. I thought maybe she'd changed her mind about coming up to the city. Perhaps she's on her way, Mrs. Wainwright. Well, I doubt that she'd come without calling. Look, uh, I'm going to go on down to Susan's. If, if she does arrive, have her call me, will you? Of course, Mrs. Wainwright. Okay. Bye-bye. 